Hello everybody, that is here. Today we have a new top 10 list and this will be about my 3D printing epiphanies. And you might remember a few months ago I did a 3D printer unboxing and after that I went quiet. And the reason for this is that the learning curve was a little bit more steep and despite the fact I tried to research this subject as much as I could a few months and at once there still was some items that I missed and I would like to share with you what my feeling about the whole that subject. And this very exciting but very difficult hobby as I can found out. And uh, so we will talk about my top 10 epiphanies about 3D printing. The number one. Number one, the whole thing apparently smells a lot. A lot of people mentioned here and there that this smells and that smells, but I didn't realize that this thing that smells so bad. And depending on the type of materials you're using, the smell can be more pleasant or less pleasant. But one thing for sure, if anybody of you try to get into 3D printing, not the good idea to put it in your living room or your even the room where you sleep. Try to find 3D printer space in a garage or somewhere when you have a proper ventilation. All right, let's move to number two. The whole thing is pretty noisy. You might see those wonderful time-lapse videos or final result pictures, but you wouldn't realize how bloody noisy the whole thing is. And depending on what kind of model you're printing, the noise can be high or lower, but it's definitely something you don't want to have, not only in the room when you're sitting, but actually in the next room you're sitting. So again, and together with whole things that smells and noisy, you want to have your 3D printer shop as far from your living quarters as possible. My number three is expectation about how soon you can produce something meaningful. And I can tell you the number of defects is absolutely staggering, especially in the beginning. And even when you get things under control and calibrate and everything works fine, even then, it's very good chance that something goes wrong and you come back to the printer and it will be total mess. And number four is related to number three, the amount of tweaking you need to do the bloody thing. If you try to do something and fail, you calibrate, recalibrate, you try this and this and you reprint and you fail and you recalibrate and you reprint and you fail. And this is a visual cycle, it can be last like forever, like days, literally, especially when you try to learn it. So if you get into the hobby, make sure you're patient enough. My number five is a huge disappointment about YouTube as a source of 3D printing tutorials. For computers, you search a little bit and you find some tips that help you out with the problem. With 3D printing, it's absolutely useless. The bigger channel it is, the more useless it is. Except of Make Your Muse, the guy from Australia who making some tips on basics, on terminology, how to tweak this and this, most of the channel absolutely a waste of time. The biggest tips, the best tips that I found when I did my own research was with the guys who did like 10, 20 uploads and they're actually telling you how to fix this problem or that problem. So my advice, if you're looking for information about 3D printing, they actually Facebook 3D printer group is more helpful than YouTube in this particular case. My number six about what you're going to produce with your wonderful 3D printer. You're either better to know 3D software so you can create a model yourself or have a buddy who willing to help you and make a model for you. If you can't do either of those two, you're basically screwed because all you can do is download the free stuff from internet that in most cases, as any free stuff, will be complete garbage. So you have to sift through the models and models and waste your time trying to make and print something that probably not as good as you would expect on a picture when you look on it. My number seven about the learner curve. You already understand the subject not that easy. You need to learn a lot of things to master the 3D printing as a hobby. And you might expect that learning curve will be a little bit steep. But let me tell you, it's freaking vertical. My number eight about expectation, how quickly you finally have something in your hand after you spend days of tweaking the bloody thing. And this is hours and hours. So if you're not a patient people and might want to shoot yourself after a few hours of waiting, be warned. Most of the stuff takes quite a long time to complete. 
My number nine is about troubleshooting. When something goes wrong, there's a, so many factors can produce the same exact results that you're getting. So troubleshooting can be very tedious and a long process. So the effect can have a cause of 10 different things and you have to go one by one to check them out. So to prepare to fix things with a lot of patience. And my number 10 is kind of conclusion and tell you if you get in this exciting hobby, it will take as much time as you allow it to take it from you. Thank you for watching my round. I still like 3D printing, believe it or not, but it's not easy. Subscribe for more.